Last time we focused on simulating the fate of England scenario 50 times. Today, we moved to Asia Minor to check in with our two friends, the Byzantine Empire and the Suljic Sultanate, who have decided to fight over the area of Armenia. As you can see, the Suljuks are the aggressors in this war and have a much larger army compared to the Byzantine, almost two, three times the size of their army. A quick history recap. This was the first salvo in a series of invasions by the Suljuks to control all of Anatolia. They launched an attack in 1069 for the lands east of Anatolia, scoring some major wins against the Byzantine army and forcing them to give up more and more territory. By 1081, the Suljuks controlled lands as far as the, as the Aegean Sea, and the Byzantines had only a sliver left of Anatolia under their control. As always, I've done some predictions prior to simulating this conflict 50 times. The first one is that the Suljuks will win 80% of the time. I believe this because their numerical advantage when it comes to their forces. The second one is the war will last on average about five years. I'm basing this one off of what I did last time, whereas the English conflicts last about seven years, so I think they'll be a little shorter just only because it's one conflict. And finally, that the Byzantines will take allies less than 10% of the time. When at war, the AI doesn't do a good job of finding friends other than their vassals, so we'll see what happens. Let's see the outcome of the Suljuk incursion. We'll start off by talking about the winners. The Suljuks won 30 out of the 50 invasions, about 78% of the time, whereas the Byzantines were able to hold onto their land about 22% of the time, with one of them being an outright victory. That victory came on the very first simulation I did, and it was the result of the Byzantines capturing the Sultan of the Suljuks in a battle. Of the 50 attempts, the Byzantines only took allies two times, which resulted in a white piece. Next, we have a graph depicting the length of the conflict. On average, it lasted about 6.9 years, with the shortest being 3 and the longest being 20. If this conflict lasted more than 7 years, it had a 58% chance of ending in a white piece. Did Emperor Constantinus survive? Part, he did survive the conflict. Historically, he dies in 1066, but the, that usually never happens in the game. The other interesting metric that came out of this was that 8 out of 10 of the white peace agreements came when Constantinus had died. I can't believe 100% certain of why this occurred, but my guess is that his son is more liked than himself, leading to his son having more levies to fight the war to a stalemate. The reason Constantinus' son is liked so much more is because Constantinus himself has a negative 20 opinion debuff be with Orthodox because of his two sinful traits. Let's quickly review my predictions. Suljux will win 80% of the time. They only won 78% of the time, so close on that one. The war will last, on average, about five years. It was 6.9 years. The Byzantines will take allies less than 10% of the time. They took allies twice, so that's not gonna hit that 10%. So luckily, I got one out of three. That's not the best, but maybe we'll be better in the future. And that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and liking. I'll be following up this video with a strategy video for both the Suljuks and the Byzantines, so keep an eye out for that. I'll see you in the next one.